I'm not going to lie. Last night, it felt a little weird. <laughs> there were boos. There were cheers. There was more media in the house than we've had all season. But in the end, the White Sox got the win and still stay tied with the 1962 Mets with 120 losses on the season. Davis Martin going to the mound and he needs a little luck and he needs some runs. He's on for his 10th start, 11th appearance, looking for his first win with an ERA of four and a quarter. Taylor Ward will lead things off. Howard hitting left fielder. And a leadoff walk starts this one as Davis Martin got ahead but couldn't put him away. And Ward is on base again. He has been getting on base nearly every game. And here's Neto, who was 0 for 4 last night. And he drives this one out toward left pretty deep. Benintendi's out near the wall. It is off the wall. Ward makes his way toward third. Neto will stay and go back to first as Benintendi got it in pretty quickly. I'm surprised to not see Neto at second base. He drilled that one off the fence, and the Angels have runners on the corner. Nobody out, and Nolan Shotta will be the next batter. Yeah. Big swing and miss on that changeup. There's out number one. That's one of the added pitches for Davis Martin, along with the cutter. He added both the change and the cutter, and he's a better pitcher because of that. Now Kevin Pillar, the ex Sox, he's playing center field tonight. Here goes Neto. Martin steps off, throws to second. They got him in a rundown. Got to watch the runner at third. Vaughn chasing will throw it off and the tag placed by Amaya as Ward stays at third base. The Sox saw a lot of this and now Ethan Katz has got his pitchers aware that runners will go while they're still holding the baseball. Pilar draws a walk for another base runner so that's two walks and a base hit out of the first four batters in the inning but now two outs and it's up to Ohapi to give the Angels an early lead. Missed it upstairs. So it's ball four, and it's the third walk of the inning. So essentially, Martin has walked the bases loaded. Now let's see if Wagaman can come through early. The 0 1 pitch is swung on and chopped to third, picked up by Vargas. He'll throw to second, and that'll end the threat. So Martin danced around a ton of traffic. They leave him loaded. We head to the bottom of the first. Brandon Drury has entered the game to play first base. Not sure what's up with Shawnawell, but he struck out. In his only plate appearance, he did have a foul ball off his body in the top of the first, although we are used to seeing that. He's done that so many times, so not sure if that's it or something else. Look at Jose Suarez, who's on for his third start, 22nd appearance. He did not face our ball club in Anaheim. He did face Houston, however, went five innings, gave up an unearned run, so last time out he was pretty good. It's Miguel Vargas leading off for the White Sox. And here's the pitch, and that's a chase and a miss, and Vargas is a strikeout victim, and that was the changeup, and Suarez has always had a good changeup. Now Robert Squigger, and that one will get past Shawnwell at first base. Robert will ease up heading into second base. A one out double in this first inning. The man who had the game winning hit last night, Andrew Benintendi. That was a blip to right in the base hit. Robert waited to see if it would fall, so he will not score here. Benintendi's trying for second base, trying to get in the same rundown as Neto makes the tag, and Benintendi's out. Well, mirror images. It's like that Spider Man meme right now. Yes, it was on yesterday in that eighth inning. It's a little odd here already in the first inning. Now the rundown to try to get the man home from third is 0 for 2 tonight. So here's Andrew Vaughn with Robert at third base. And here's the next pitch grounded right to Wagaman, the third baseman, his throw in time. And as it turns out in the first inning, both teams end up leaving a runner at third. A scoreless first, although both teams probably figure they should have scored runs. Lenin Sosa leads off the Sox second. Nothing, nothing. Lenin Sosa, a rocket past Wagaman at third. He will take the big turn, head to second, as Ward will get it back into the infield. Lenin Sosa, he is not waiting around at the plate anymore. Here's Corey Lee with Sosa still at second. Corey Lee sends this one deep to left field. Cue the fireworks as Corey Lee hits his 12th home run of the season. And the Sox get on the board first, taking a 2 0 lead in the second inning. 12 and 35 on the power numbers, and Corey Lee is starting to heat it up. Suarez having all kinds of problems tonight. He's given up four hits in the early going, and the Sox have a two run lead. We're looking for more. A couple of base runners here with two outs in the fourth inning will bring up. The number nine batter, Jack Lopez. Lopez hits one on the ground to the right side. It is tracked down, and no play at first. Is now a throw to third base as the runners all do scramble back. And we almost saw another base running error by the Angels here, but 
But Sosa keeping that ball in the infield. Now the bases are loaded. Yeah, nice job by Sosa just to prevent a run from scoring. And that's going to be it for Davis Martin. With the bases loaded and more importantly, at 85 pitches, he will leave the ball game. And Taylor Ward will be the next batter. Taylor Ward lines one to right center. That's a base hit. Dice scores. Comparo's on his way home. Motor in the third is Lopez as Taylor Ward ties it up. A two out, two run single off Soroka. He continues his incredible month of September now. 79 RBIs, 27 doubles. Back to even 2 2. Bottom of the fourth. Lenin Sosa has a double and a run tonight. Sosa. High in the air to left field, and that one is out of here. Lenin living the dream, Sosa. His seventh home run of the season. What a tear he is on to end this regular season as the Sox take a 3-2 lead in the fourth. Seven home runs, now 30 driven in, and there's one guy that is going to hate to see this season end. And that's Lenin Sosa. New pitcher in the game. It is Ryan Miller. On for the 11th time. His ERA up over five. That's that should have been pitch. strike three. You can't miss that pitch. That's right on the outside corner. He's hearing it from the dugout also. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's a strike. That's what it is. That's what they're saying. Now somebody just got ejected, and I believe it was Barry Enright who was hot at the home plate umpire earlier when he came to the mound. He's missed quite a few of them there. Especially that one. That's all over the strike zone. Barry Enright ejected for the first time this year. Angel De Los Santos is the new pitcher. Sox have a one run lead, and it'll be the top of the order for the Angels. And while he slashes this one down right field, and a sliding catch made by Dominic Fletcher doing what he does in right field. We know it's been a disappointing year for Dominic with the bat, but with the glove, he's just been outstanding. And the Angels now with runners on the corners with one down. Here's Kevin Pillar. Slow roller. Toss to second. And the first double play turn. And the White Sox holding on to a one run lead. Eighth inning. Sox leading three to two. It is Justin Anderson on for the 56th time. That brings up Wagaman. Line to center as Robert comes in and he trapped it. It's a base hit. Wagaman dumps one in front of a sliding Robert and there's a one out single here in the eighth inning. It's part of that plan extremely deep even though he's got that speed to run that one down unable to do it. See how far he's playing back. And the Angels have another scoring chance. See if they can come through here. That will be the right fielder Gustavo Campero. Line to center that's going to get down for a base hit. Wagaman gets held up. Robert gets it in quickly and the Angels load him up. Base hit for Campero. Michael Stefanik. Here, Here comes the bun. It's a squeeze. The flip to the plate won't be made. Nobody's covering first. Tie game. And the suicide squeeze finally works for the Halos. Yes. Waited for the right count. Perfect. With everyone crashing, no one at first. He said it's a possibility, and the possibility succeeds. A break of ball, which gives you a better shot of getting that bunt down. Bottom of the ninth with a chance to walk it off tied at three. The second out. That'll bring up Miguel Vargas. Here's the next pitch. This is lifted in the air. Not that deep at all in right center. Calling for it. Making the catch is Pilar. And that's how the inning will end. Put out for the Angels center fielder. So we will head to extra innings. It's hard to believe. In a game with nine walks, only one is scored. Here's Wagaman first and second. All ground is short. Nicky Lopez in the game. And they turn the double play. That was a tough hop for Nicky because he was retreating. He has to defend against the baseball coming up toward his face. And Lenin with a good solid throw across the diamond and they got him. Bottom of the 10. White Sox kept the Angels off the board. So now Miguel Vargas is the winning run at second base. Lefty Jose Quijada is the pitcher for the Angels. Ben Attendee will come up here in the second half when they've needed a big hit. He more than anyone else has delivered. Tenny with a good rip. This one's going to fall. Vargas rounding third. Coming home. And walk it off. And walk it off. White Sox with a win in the 10th. Take that history. Andrew Benintendi delivers once again. Ron Washington decides not to walk him and it cost him this particular ball game. Andrew Benintendi, left-handed pitcher, right-handed pitcher, it hasn't mattered, he's getting it done.